Hi, everybody. It's Nani and London and Harper Shadow back here. <laughs> we are back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. It's another small one, but we found some more good stuff and quite a bit of like junk food in this haul, but that's all right. But what was in my thumbnail, guys? I saw these and thought this was amazing. This is by the brand Freeman. I'm not quite sure what these would cost. I did not look these up to see what the price would be in Walmart or the grocery store, but I grabbed two. I just thought that was a great deal. And these are called Flirty Feet and it is for cracked heel foot. It is a cracked heel foot treatment. It says repairing with neem oil and shea butter and it's a 3.4 ounce tube. So I did pick up two of these because why not? I wanna see if I can see a quick use by date on here. I do not, I don't see a date on this. I want to see if they're sealed. Oh, you cannot take the lid off. This one is not sealed. What's that smell like? It smells good. Mm. Let me check this one and see, but you can't turn twist the thing off. They are not sealed, just so you know that. But I thought that was a pretty interesting find, so I picked up two. I'm going to give these a try. You have to have nice feet. It's summertime, right? I'm going to go ahead and show this real quick. I put it in a bag with a with a freezy thing for right now. They had these in the refrigerator section. They had all of these bar S, and I'm sure these probably aren't that great of a deal, but you get a little two-pack of the bar S lunch meat. They're called fresh packs. You can separate it since it comes in two, and it's two ounces in each side. It's four ounces total. So I think that's great. No MSG, no artificial flavors or colors, gluten-free, and it's bar S. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And like I said, this one is the, did I say? The Deli Shaved Smoked Ham. They also had the Deli Shaved Oven Roasted Turkey Breast. And it is also four ounces, so two ounces in each side. And they had the deli shaved honey ham. And it is also four ounces. So that might be for lunch today. We may have we may have sandwiches for lunch. And the best buy date is August of 22 on the ham. I should have said that first. Not seeing the date. Oh, there it is, August of 22 for the oven roasted turkey breast and August of 22 for the smoked ham. So I think that's a pretty good deal. If you're having a picnic or something and need, you know, you could throw this stuff in a cooler. I think that's great. Throw it in a lunch box if you, know, you guys work away from home and throw it in your lunch and just nibble on lunch meat if you're doing low carb, excellent. So London, what would you like to show? They are addicted to York peppermint patties. Especially me. Especially her, but I think Harper loves them as well. So we picked up a five pack of the snack size. I can taste some. And London wants to taste test for you. And we picked up one of the bags of the, they're the little, little minis. And what, how many ounces is this? This is a 2.8 ounce bag and a three ounce in the, the bigger patties. So you actually get a better deal by buying the snack size than the littles. But we picked up one of each of those because they wanted them. She wants to taste test. So while I do the next item, she's gonna taste test. And then I believe Harper in one of her videos showed Butterfingers the the bigger snack size bars. They picked up the little minis this time and they've been having these in their blizzards at night. The York peppermint patties, excuse me, the York peppermint patties and the Butterfingers. And these are the minis and it is a 
I'm sorry guys, a 2.8 ounce. And it shows you the actual size. These are just the little squares. So they work great in the, um, the milkshake machine. And of course these are made in the USA. So those are the butter fingers that Harper picked out. And as you can see, they are opened. <laughs> Harper is a butter fingers I love them. fan. They had these this time. Hubby spotted these. They're the liquid coffee creamers. I have seen this brand in the powder a lot, but I don't think I've ever seen it in the liquid. And it is the Ferrelli brand liquid coffee creamer. And this is in the French vanilla. And it's lactose free, gluten free. Some of it I can't read free. And it's a 10 ounce little container. Wanna make sure it's sealed. It is sealed on the top. We just picked this just one up just to give it a try. I can't get the lid on, there we go. But just picked it up to give it a try. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. And I believe they had hazelnut as well, but we just grabbed one just to try it. And these are nice to have because these are shelf stable. So you can just put this on your shelf and you know keep it for a very long time. If you run out of your regular coffee creamer, you can have this right on the shelf. Um, the next item I think I showed in my empties haul, they finished off a thing of the raspberry lemonade. It was still in the store, so we grabbed another one. They really enjoyed this raspberry lemonade. So we grabbed another one, and if they don't if they don't use it, you know, during the rest of their trip, this time it'll be here for when they come back. Hopefully that they'll be back down sometime before they start back to school. So I'll just keep this, keep it here while we saw it, we grabbed it. Picked up a box of these breakfast bars. These are the blueberry biscuit breakfast bars, and you get six in here. I like these for myself. I I just like having these in the morning, a quick breakfast with a hot cup of coffee. They're so good. And it, what is the brand on this? Um, so bisque. So I grabbed just a box of those, the blueberries for myself. If the kids want to eat them, of course they can, but I really like these with a with a hot cup of coffee. They're good. They're nine grams. Nine grams of fiber, whole grain. Whole grain per serving. Nine grams of whole grain. Per serving. Per serving. So yum. Mm. So let's see. You guys have recommended these almond windmill cookies, and these are by the Little Dutch Maid. You saw them in one of my last hauls. These are delicious. But a lot of you have commented, and I had noticed as well, when I was a kid having these, they actually had shaved almonds in these cookies. These don't. This brand does not, but they are delicious. They're just nice and crispy and fresh, great flavor. So we picked up another another pack just to have have it on the shelf. We're still nibbling on the pack that we had I had showed in one of my last hauls. So we grabbed another one. They're very, very good. You wanna show, what do you wanna show? Mm. Or are you still eating? I'm done. You're done eating? Yes. You wanna show those or this or this? You wanna show that? Picked up two more bags of the sand. I had transplanted an aloe plant. I got two bags. I transplanted an aloe plant probably a month and a half or so, or so and I did put sand on the top, but as the dirt is settling now, all the sand is kind of washing down in. So I need to add some more sand to it. Plus I need another bag of sand for my big um, snake plant that way back you guys saw it in my videos a lot. I needed a little more to put on that. So I did grab two bags. And if you guys don't know why I do that, I put sand, my daughter Allison put sand on all so of her plants. It's so you don't get those little tiny black fly gnat things. And then we'll try to like eat they don't like the, the those little black flies do not like laying sand. going down through sand to lay their eggs they can't get through it so you put sand on top of your plants don't and don't worry about that at all you don't have to worry about it at all you will never have black flies again those little teeny black allison knows the name of it if i can't think of what they are if they're called fungus like fung fungus gnats yeah. fungus gnats so just put sand. I think they give fungus too. So I grabbed two of those to have, and I'm sorry, I didn't say what these are. This is a 1.1 pound, and it just says decorative accents of sand. So you get a little over a pound in each bag. And I picked up another box of the Irish Spring. 
in the classic classic scent and you get two bars in here and they are a 3.2 ounce bar and it's just the regular Irish spring that we all know from our childhoods and I've actually I showed it in one of my last hauls I had picked up two bars and I chopped them up in little cubes and hubby threw them all around under the deck we haven't seen the skunk since so I don't know if the soap worked I don't know and another thing I noticed as well is I haven't had very many mosquitoes on the back did you notice that Lou a little bit but not much not much she gets chewed by mosquitoes and I don't know if it's the soap that is helping or not we haven't had to use any bug spray since she's been here we haven't used those little repellent coils we haven't used anything since she's been here and we haven't had a problem so I'm kind of kind of attributing it to putting the Irish spring under the deck so we grabbed some more we put that just in our to camper. yep you put it in your camper to keep critters away so grab some more just to have for when that, because it will dissolve eventually. So grab some more to have on hand. And the last, nope, this thing and then one more. Picked up some of these. These are the strawberry cream cookies. We like these a lot and we like the lemon flavor a lot. And these are by the Little Dutch Maid. These are the strawberry creams. And it is a 11.8 ounce package. These remind me of strawberry milkshake, the flavor of them. They're good, they're very good. So we grabbed another pack. You guys see, we, this was kind of like the, the junk food haul this time. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have this too. They had this this time, guys. It is paste brand. And this is the nacho cheese sauce in medium heat. I am really curious to try this. I've never seen this in the store before, the paste brand. You guys know that I love the paste little salsa jars quick easy meal you just brown up some pork chops put that salsa the paste salsa on the top let it simmer delicious and this says this is made with real cheese huh. so if you guys have tried this nacho cheese let me know what you think i'm getting hiccups guys i've been talking a lot this morning let me know what you think of this nacho cheese sauce I've, I've never seen it before and we didn't see any other heat levels either i don't know if they had medium and hot or you know mild and hot i don't know but it's a 10.5 ounce can the use by date is may of 23. so you have till next year a little bit past that so we're going to try that maybe we'll make nachos one day for, just for a snack or maybe use this and dip soft pretzels in oh we might have that today so yeah, I bought those soft little soft pretzels from the Dollar Tree, the whole pretzels, and then it was a big name brand of the little pretzel bites. So we might try that for snack later today. On our house, um, we have like the, some type of brand, I don't know what it's called, but super they, soft pretzels. super soft pretzels, and they're so good. That's what the little nuggets are that I got, the super soft brand, and you well, can get those at the Dollar Tree. Well, they're the big ones. Yeah, you have the big ones. And then I yeah. like to put peanut butter or put chocolate on top of it. Oh, yeah. Um, well, we might try some cheese sauce. And then, guys, the last thing, I found more of the stitch and weft towels. These are becoming kind of like the gold toe. Everybody was looking for gold toe socks and still are. Now it is the Stitch and Weft brand. This is so, such an amazing deal. We looked them up on walmart.com. Their towels run anywhere for a two pack from like $11, $12 up into the 20s, $20, $22 for a two pack. And these are the 100% natural cotton. This is a good deal. Very it's good deal. deal. But these ones I think are absolutely adorable. This towel, it is a two pack. This towel says, bless your heart. And this one says, hello, darling. I think those are so cute. And you guys know me, you love my, or I love my kitchen towels. I always have a towel hanging over my oven door. I love these. And these are quality guys. These are just so so well made they are thick and they're not microfiber they're just cotton basic towels so cute question yes dear whenever if it hits like let's say you spilled some sunny d all over the table and you want to clean up with that would it stain it it would probably stain it yeah 
<laughs> so don't spill Sunny D and wipe it up with my towels. <laughs> Adorable. So I am on the lookout for more of these towels, guys. I just think that's a great deal. That's good. Cool. Christmas is coming. Start stocking up on those. Make make your mom or your your aunt or your grandma or your uncle or whoever just a beautiful little kitchen style basket. Put in some nice towels and some cute kitchen utensils and anyway i think that is it for this haul we're gonna get this cleaned up and i think we're gonna go make something for lunch and then we have a couple more hauls for you to do at some point so you're gonna see those in the future here and then the girls will probably be going back home to their mom and dad and but hopefully you'll you'll see yeah they're i think they're ready to go and see their mom and dad being away from home for two weeks that's they miss their parents. They miss their own beds. They miss their dogs and their chickens. And so, I'll but, miss you too. Well, you'll miss us too, and we'll miss you, but you'll be back. So anyway, guys, if you like watching them, go check out their mom's channel. They're on it as well. The Holistic Homesteader. You'll see their dad too. You'll see their dad too. And the great, great channel, guys. And thank you all who have gone over and subscribed. We truly appreciate it. If you like my content, please subscribe to mine. Love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thank you, everybody, and we will talk to you again here really soon. Peace. <laughs> I did a thumb up. <laughs>